This is the first lecture of this course. Myself, Sodam Bhujinder, Assistant Professor, Department of Applied Science and Humanities, Section Mechanical Engineering, Guru Nanak Institute of Technology, Kolkata. And this course is mainly prepared for the diploma first year, first semester students and under the, 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 the syllabus which is followed by the West Bengal board that is WBACTE okay so this is my uh, brief introduction of myself and the office of office is given that is room number 110 thermal power lab and contact number of myself is also given that is 9531672982 and mail id shourov.mujumdar at the rate gnit.ac.in so if you have if you feel any problem you can contact me on that number and also you can con you can mail me on this official mail id okay so now come to the course structure that is this is a 15 week course and credit 4 and it will have 3 hour per week there is a theory and one tutorial class that is one hour per, per week and there is no practical and the right hand side this is a marks distribution that is total marks that is 100 internal marks is 20 assignment and quiz 10 and end semester examination is 70 okay so we are going to start this course engineering mechanics uh, student should have some prerequisites knowledge like the concept of basic physics geometry and trigonometry and general mathematical manipulation okay now we are going to discuss the course objective that is to study and realize the action of force system and movement on a rigid body then to study the concept of centroid and center of gravity to study the law of motion of simple lifting machine to study the effect of friction on a body and lastly to prepare the student for further understanding of the other allied subject like strength of material, theory of machine, mom, tom, dom, dos, etc. So these are the course objective and now we are going to discuss about the course outcome that is after successful completion of this course student will be able to make composition of forces resolution of force and find resultant and equilibrium of coplanar force system calculate moment of force and couple and thus support reactions statically Determinate beam under different load conditions. Solve the problem of friction, its effect on ladder, horizontal plane, inclined plane. Find the center of gravity of composite solids, centroid of composite plane figure. Find mechanical advantage, velocity ratio, efficiency of simple machine. So I think all these terms is totally new to you, you are not going to understood all these things initially. So if you complete this total course, after that you will able to know the meaning of this all these things. Okay. So now, so there is some list of books is there. 
like uh, that is textbook that is D S Kumar this is a very good book and also available in our library G N I T library and next you can follow the book that is R S Kurmi the publication is S C H A N this is also a very good book and easily available in our library then next is A R Basu which is also a very good book Tata McDowell Hill or you can follow the S S Bhavikati that is the new age international publication or if you follow any reference book you can follow the book that is R K Rajput this is a very nice book and B Bhattacharya that is Basudev Bhattacharya Oxford University Press this is also a very good book and Roy Choudhury this is also very good and Timoshin book okay so these are the uh, list of reference books now we are going to start that is introduction to engineering mechanics so mechanics is the physical science or we can say it is a branch of physical science which deals with the effect of forces on object on any body where the object or the body is at rest or in motion okay so this is the definition of mechanics the principle of mechanics are very few but they have wide application in engineering okay so the term mechanics is already understood to everyone but whenever we add this term engineering with the mechanics that means we are mainly focused on the solving our real life problem okay so we are applying the concept of mechanics to solve the real life engineering problem okay so what are the application so application is like research and development in the field of vibration stability and strength of structure mechanics robot rocket spacecraft design automatic control engine performance fluid flow electrical machines apparatus molecular atomic and subatomic behavior so the application of engineering mechanics is very huge it will start from atomic and subatomic level to the spacecraft can you imagine so at each and every place the concept of engineering mechanics is very very applicable so that's why we can call it as a core subject of all engineering courses okay and also this mechanics is the oldest branch of science okay so how it will old let's see in our next slide that is beginning and development of engineering mechanics so the beginning of this subject we can say the discovery of circular wheel okay from that the development of engineering mechanics was started in the study of ancient civilization of roman egyptian babylonian we can see there was a huge use of the water wheel wind mills okay but we can say that is this word that is engineering mechanics was first used by the great scientist that is aristotle okay we can remember the year that is 384 to 322 bc he was first used this term for the problem of lever and the concept of center of gravity 
at that time it included a few idea which were odd unsymmetry and based mostly on observation containing incomplete information okay so after that the next scientist which was the archimedes so archimedes is a pure mathematician and he first gave the development of this subject in a mathematical way okay so before that before archimedes the aristotle gives the concept but they are not given the specific information they are only give the statement on their just assumption and very odd and unsymmetry okay so that's why the this is not granted so after that when newton uh just uh, just given the improved way of this statement so that's then we are then that statement is granted okay so there is a uh, the statement given by aristotle and the statement given by newton we are just differentiate this two statement in our later slide so before that the archimedes he discovered a lot of thing like law of bouncy constructed various sling devices law of equilibrium of liver okay but the whenever the name of archimedes was came so the story of golden crown was came in my mind so i think this story is already known to everyone if not don't worry i will tell you the that story which is very interesting so there is a king kiroi 2 of sarukas he had got a golden crown okay but he suspected that the crown is made with some adult gold that means there is some impurity in the gold okay but he liked the design of the golden crown so much he is not agree to melt it okay so he announced a huge prize money to that person who find out the impurity without melting the golden crown the legend goes to the archimedes is a pure mathematician and he observed that one day he is in her he is in his bathroom tub and he observed that whenever a body is immersed in water its apparent weight will be decreases that means the loss apparent loss of weight of the immersed body is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced so this is the history of law of bouncy okay and after that he just jumped out from this bathtub and shouting eureka eureka that is i have found it i have found it okay so this is the history of law of bouncy and after that he successfully proved that the silver was mixed with the golden crown so this is the history of golden crown so after that there is a 1600 year there is not much improvement or not much development of this subject is there okay there is little uh, research will going on but uh, but after 1600 year the next scientist was that is leonardo da vinci you just follow the year that is 1452 to 1590 
and he discovered the study of mechanism friction motion of bodies on inclined plane okay so hinge discovered lot of things then stevens he discovered the laws of vector combination of forces and principle of statics now ha galileo galileo discovered the theory of projectile and idea of inertia so after galileo the hygins discovered the laws of a pendulum okay that is motion of a pendulum and after hygins that is our great scientist our most favorite that is sir isaac newton in the year of 1643 to 1727 so one one thing is just follow that is after hinchi the gap of the scientist is not too much there is only a uh, 100 or 200 year gap okay so the newton introduced lot of things like the concept of force and mass and he gave the laws of motion in 1686 so after newton the mechanics is known as newtonian mechanics it is a great breakthrough okay and after that john bernoulli gave the principle of virtual work and after that the einstein gave the special theory of relativity okay so now we are going to compare the idea of aristotle and the i and the statement given by newton okay so i am just going to compare this two idea and so what aristotle said that is we need a force why for an object to move okay and this statement was given by 350 bc okay and and the the statement which is given by aristotle is totally based on his observation okay but the same idea just implemented by the newton in the year of 1660 and he gave the statement in a newer way that is we need a force for an object to change its velocity okay the concept is same but newton gave the statement in a very specific way so that's why uh his statement granted okay and you can see that is the year gap that is near about 2000 year to change this small thing small idea it will take 2000 year can you imagine okay so next that is again there is the comparison between the statement given by aristotle and newton that is in absence of a force a body is at rest and a body only move if it is driven so this statement was already given by the aristotle in the year of 350 bc but what newton said he just implemented this statement that is a body uh, so in absence of a force a body is at rest he agree with aristotle but he add some more point that is a body is at rest will remain at rest okay so there is no confusion but if it is moving with a continuous velocity it will continue to do so okay so the statement is very specific which is given by newton okay 
सो थैंक यू